guys, Alicia here with TPT Tech and Tips. Today we are going to talk about how to flatten a product. You're like, what? All right, flatten a product is where you're taking what you've created and you're turning it into an image. That prevents people from taking clip art, taking font. Somehow, I don't know how, even if you turn it into a PDF, people can take those clip art and those fonts off of it. So taking it and turning it into a PDF is not enough. We have to go one step further and flatten it. Most of the clip art and most of the font artists have a terms of use page. In their terms of use page, it says it needs to be protected. So for those of you who want to get start making products, low cost, easy entry as possible, this is the way to go. What I'm going to show you today is a completely free option that you can do using PowerPoint. So this is turning them into an image and making it where people can't lift things off of it. So this is what I do if I have a smaller product and not um, a lot of pages. So first thing, everything is proofread, ready to go, because once you do this, you can't make changes because it's an image. Okay, you're going to come up to File, Export, and then change it to JPEG. I use JPEG and not PNG. PNG is bigger. If my files are set to the 2550 by 3300, it works just fine for me and everything is clear and crisp and I don't have any issues. So make sure you have every slide, then you hit export. That takes it and turns it into a folder on your desktop. It's right here. You open it up, there's all the pictures. Okay, then you're gonna wanna come back to PowerPoint and then we'll just do a new presentation. This is blank. We need to insert those things into the background. So format background, picture, find the file. There's one. And then you just fill them in. I. like I just always make sure like this is image three and I'm on slide three so slide four slide five and that's it I'm done so now there's nothing that like you can't change anything okay like people cannot copy and paste and lift this off. So, and then next up, file, export, and then turn it into a PDF. So I'm gonna say spring break, name it whatever you want. Decoder, and then export PDF. Uh, I'm just gonna minimize this, minimize, and then here it is. Flatten a product that has a lot of pages using Google Slides. And this is perfect for if you have a product that's, um, I typically do it if it's over like 10 pages. Um, so think about like big classroom sets, big year long things. This is the best way to do it and it takes like 30 seconds. So showing you this tip, Super easy um, using an extension and I'll show you how to download it and put it all together. Let's go ahead and get started. So I just have a blank slide here already designed for the paper size and this is the size paper that I have created on. So this is actually an extension that is within Google Slides. So you're going to come up here where it says extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and we're looking for, I'm gonna just try a toolbox. Oh, slides toolbox, sorry. Slides toolbox. Now, admin install or an individual install. So I am the admin for this account. I don't have anybody else underneath me. I only have one. You probably only have one. Either way, it's not going to make a difference. Give it permission. This is my account, allow, perfect. So it is ready to go. 
Now, if you did the admin install, that would, let's say you had multiple people under your email address, um, under your domain workspace, then it would give it to everybody. And that can take a long time if you have multiple people. Like I said, it's just me rocking this game out. So I can just do individual install. And then later, if people want it and I grow, they can add it. But it's definitely not something to worry about right now. Anyway, it's ready to go. Um, add-ons and it's right there under extensions okay so if we come to our product this is the product that I want to create and you can tell right now it has it's not flattened at all it's done proofread it is ready to rock and roll and it's 13 pages 13 is kind of a lot um, that I don't really want to do manually so going to go ahead and export these into images. Export JPEG. And I always do this one. So save every slide. That's the size I always do and it comes out perfectly fine. The 2550 by 3300. Um, export and then that's going to make a folder. And then minimize this. I come back to the presentation and you can actually, you don't need that first slide. So you go back to this extension and then you open it and then import tools and then create slides from images. And remember we want this to be in the background so that nobody can lift anything off of there. So. Um, you hit set as slide background and then single image hit next and then you're going to upload I want this is the all 13 images highlight all of them hit open upload now I have done this with as many as like 60. So if you could imagine 60, I definitely don't want to go in and add each slide to the background one by one. Um, that could take a really long time. And then we just wait for this to do its magic. And voila, it's done. You can see that um, that is in the background. Um, it's got all 13 and put them in the background. And like I said, I have done this with giant, giant pieces and it saves so much time for me going and inserting them into the background each individually one by one. That can take a lot of time. So next step, you go to file, download, PDF. And something I did want to show you, if you go to your drive, all of those images are going to be there. So um, if you don't want them taking up a lot of space or you want to save them or delete them, you can delete them out of there. You don't really need them anymore. It just imports them to your drive and then imports them to the background of your picture. But those are all there. And especially if you want to put them in a folder, delete them, whatever. I just wanted to let you know that they were there. It looks like our PDF is done. So you can open it up and it is ready to rock and roll. Nobody can lift that, the things from the background. So I hope that was helpful guys.